The other night I was listening in on a live chat with Kirk Schilling, who was obviously a former major league pitcher and World, World Series champion also. And every so often he will do some Q&A or storytelling or whatever it may be about, about baseball. And I was listening in on it the other night. And one of the topics that came up was about pitchers' gloves. Uh, some people were asking you know, what type to get, what size, what brand, all kind of questions about it. So he did uh, a few of his thoughts on pitchers' gloves. And while I was listening to it, some of the things that I learned or was told or I found out while I was playing was the same type of things he was talking about. So I thought I'd throw a quick video together uh, about pitchers' gloves and what to look for. And you know, people had different opinions on, on, on gloves, on makes, models, things like that. But I think a, co a common scenario are a few things that, I, that I'll share and also what Kurt Schilling was also saying. So first, you know, as far as the size of the glove, you know, it really depends on how old you are. Obviously, if you're uh, younger and you're in t-ball or getting up to little league, you know, you're going to be steadily growing. So you'll be changing gloves pretty often as your hand grows. You will you know, be getting different gloves as, as time goes on. So, you know, for little leaguers, I probably wouldn't go out and spend a ton of money on a glove. I would just get something that's really comfortable at least last year, a year or two that you make and use it and because you'll be changing gloves probably in a year or two anyway. So as you get older, up into high school, uh, almost graduating high school, uh, the growth starts slowing down. Then you can kind of get to a, a, a one size glove. And really the size glove as far as pitchers is whatever is uh, the biggest that you can really have that's comfortable. And they don't want anything too small anything real, real big, you don't want it to get in your, in your way of your delivery or get too heavy. Kind of the most common size that I see in the ones that I use was a 12 inch glove. So I think that's a good, good medium for um, good average uh, size glove. And a couple of characteristics of, of a pitcher's glove that you would really want to look for. And I've got uh, one of the gloves here. One of the, I think the most, one of the most important thing is this closed webbing. And the reason you want to have that is, if you're changing grips with a ball, you can't see the grip that I'm, I'm changing to. So I have a ball here, stick it in here, and you, I'm changing my grips without the batter or anyone really seeing that, that grip. So a closed webbing uh, is, is, is an important uh, feature. Also, the finger. Uh, I've always had ones that were open. Uh, some people like to put their finger inside of it, keep it out. But one thing uh, about the, the finger to watch as far as the pitcher is sometimes the finger position will kind of tip off pitches. So, for example, if someone's going to throw an off-speed pitch, a curveball, they may have a habit of keeping their finger up high. If they do a fastball or something, they may keep their finger down low. So. Uh, to kind of combat that and kind of hide that if you you know if you're someone who has a tendency of tipping off pitches with your finger is only to learn to either keep the finger in the glove but they also make some gloves now that has a little finger socket where you can put your finger in it kind of keeps it there and that way your finger doesn't really really move a whole lot so those are really the two main characteristics as far as looks is a closed back and something that you might want to do with with your finger. Also, a question had come up before of about oiling or how to break in gloves. Uh, I never oiled gloves, and this even came up with Kurt Schilling. Is he never oiled gloves either? Because one, it makes them heavy, and and even if it gets wet, it gets even heavier. So uh, never really oiled gloves. You don't really want that extra weight. Uh, now it's, it's okay to put leather cleaner or maybe a, a light little conditioner or something like that to kind of keep it clean and. And looking good and in good shape, I think that that's fine. But that heavy oils will uh, just kind of weight it down. So I haven't bought gloves in a while, so I did go online and look at a few uh, gloves and kind of see what was out there. Some of the, the more popular brands of gloves are Mizuno and Rawlings. I'm just familiar with those because that's what I used a lot of them. So I got on the website, just kind of see what they had out there, just kind of get more familiar with what they have out there now. And, and first, I don't work for any of these 
companies or anything. This is just something I'm looking at online. So, but looking at uh, Mizuno's website, uh, which is MizunoUSA.com, they have a selector tool here that may can help someone select the uh, glove that may fit them. So it's probably just a guide to help. So right here you can see, you know, you can see what sport, baseball, you throw right or left. And then right here you can select what position, so we'll select pitcher, next. And right here is kind of what I was talking about earlier. It, it looks like it kind of narrows it down per age, and it probably narrows it down per glove size. So you can see we got from zero to six years old approximately for different ages, and then 16 and above. I just selected 16 and above. And then right here it, it uh, asks how many games per year. So also, if you're a pitcher, you probably won't, you know, pitch as much or, you know, in the games as you would uh, playing in the field all the time. So um, I guess any of these here that you feel like. I just put 16 to 30 uh, being selected as a pitcher. And then it kind of narrows it down to some of the gloves that they have. It looks like it narrows it down to 12 inch, which is, again, common. And, of course, this looks like there's more expensive ones. So this is really expensive glove here, but um, but as you can see pretty much that even on the website for pitcher gloves, they have the closed back right here. You can see that all of them are closed webbing. Uh, looks like a lot of these here have some some finger placements where you can put your finger in to hide uh, your finger. Looks like a lot of those have that these days, so that may come pretty standard on a lot of gloves now. So. You can see they vary in pricing, but you, as you can tell, they all have the same kind of characteristics. A 12-inch glove, again, which is a common size, a closed webbing, and something that you can hide uh, your your finger in. So that's a good site. Mizuno makes a good good glove, so they have a little selector tool that can help you there. And I went over to the Rawlings website, and on the left-hand side, I just narrowed it down to the same, a 12 inch right-handed, selected adult, and a selected pitcher right here. And again, you can see pretty much the same characteristics here, some closed webbing. And right here, they have some ones where it's got uh, split webbing, where you have a split here, and they have the leather laces that attach them. So you can see the gaps here. Uh, you know, as a pitcher, I probably wouldn't get that type of webbing because it's it has some open areas there but you can see these two here have a fully enclosed webbing it looks like they may have a, a finger placement in these also can't really tell but uh, but you can uh, all kind of tell the same characteristics of of both of those gloves so i hope that helps uh, again just the characteristics close back something made with your finger and a size that you're you're comfortable with